Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're going to talk about a GE front loader. And this GE actually, uh, I put a boot in it only <clears throat> about a year ago. This And this boot, what happens is, this door, if you have it in your, if you have it in your uh, washroom, this door, normally stays open like this and so if you're walking by it you know you want to close the door so you can get by it if you have a small washroom this door is made to stay open like this and the reason why it's made to stay open like this is because the mildew tends to build up now if you have a small washroom and you have to close your door keep it closed to walk by it then it's not a good idea unfortunately so uh, within a year, this developed this mold here because the people had to close the door to walk by their, uh, to get through their back door. And so, and these hinges actually, notoriously, because of the slop in the soap, the uh, soap will get down in those hinges and freeze things up. Now, if you don't have a full, a full swing on your hinges here, um, if it's if it if it does not pop open by itself, then you have uh, rust or corrosion building up inside your hinges, and that should be repaired. Uh, because what will happen eventually is the corrosion or rust built up will make it hard to shut your door. And then if your door is hard to shut, then your door switch will take a beating and go out sooner than later. Now this washer here, the customer complained about uh, the a smell, a rubber smell inside. Now I haven't totally disassembled it, here's the model number, but what I have read online is that somehow the barrel is rubbing up against this rubber seal here. Now I'm not sure how that works, how exactly that would rub up against there. It looks like there's a little line in there where it had rubbed into it. But that may eventually go away, I'm not sure. Um, somebody said that it's actually loose in the back here so it tends to pull forward but it's not pulling forward this is normal slop by the way this when you when you uh, when you move the machine it should have a little bit of give here now if you lift up and you feel a, a bit of space there it should not it should you should not you're trying to feel the play of the shaft basically and the bearing where the shaft meets the bearing, and the bearing uh, may have play in it, but this one seems to be fine. A little bit of rock here is fine, but if you have slop when you pull it back and forth, then you've got a problem. So that's your LG tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact me at appliancesworks at yahoo.com.